Y'all watch games? You know what kind of people watch games? People that don't live the game of their life. My life is my big game. I'm living the Super Bowl every day. No time for that Mickey Mouse baby boy bullshit that you're doing. And that's what these guys who are going around chasing pussy and being degenerate and there's there's slut makers you know so many guys complain about the fact that women are sluts and it's like but you guys are slut makers yo elliot yo elliot in late 2020 i joined the dutch marines i did not join because i really want to be a marine i joined because i wanted to test myself and become a better man. I expected to be surrounded with like-minded men, which ended to be true for the most part. There was only one thing that really stood out to me. There was a sort of hierarchy about who slept with the most amount of women. Every Sunday evening when we got back to base, there would always be a few guys who would go around asking others about how many women they had slept with that weekend. Even the corporals and the sergeants would ask the same question. I just tried to ignore this for a long time, but after a while, it really started to bother me. I left the Marines a few months ago and decided to start studying. This week, I got my old job back at the supermarket, so the people that work there all recognize me. Yesterday, there was a guy who asked me, so, did you sleep with some chicks lately? <laughs> I did not respond and just walked away. What am I supposed to say? I don't wanna say anything, it's none of their business. On the other hand, if I don't say something, they will just come back asking the same question again and again. For your information, Elliot, I, of course, just want one woman to get married and to raise a family. Thank you for your time. Well, Rob, yeah, so you're, uh, you're opting out of promiscuous culture. And a lot of people aren't going to understand it because when you opt out of anything that's popular in pop culture, people are confused. Right. It could be anything, everything from being promiscuous to listening to the, to the latest cool music. Hey, did you hear the new song or did you see the new mu the new movie? Right. Do you know the new slang language or the new meme? Like there's always stuff that people who are wrapped up in pop culture and what the world is doing want to be about and want you to be about. But you decided, no, I'm not. I know the whole world's about that. Right. But I'm choosing not to. And here's the thing. Here's how you maintain your integrity and not only maybe maintain your integrity, but also maybe help other people level up. And I'm not talking specifically about this situation with the promiscuity and the, and the guys sleeping around, but with anything in your life, conviction, if you approach it with conviction, if you have a good reason why. And you know why. And you can convince or you could uh, speak to the reasons why. Through your conviction, people will listen to you, they will respect you, and they will love you. There's two things you can do. You can offer an answer back with conviction, saying, no, I'm choosing not to get involved with that because X, Y, and Z, and it turns out that this is better for me, and did you know that statistically, this might be something that you're interested in, right? So you almost, in a way, are selling yourself, right? In a way, you kind of sell yourself by saying, oh, no, in fact... Uh, there's a good reason why I'm not involved with that, right? And you tell them, you tell them the exact reason why, right? You could tell them about all of the negative things that are associated with getting addicted to these girls in their vaginas. A lot of these guys, they're addicted lovers, right? If they're not chasing pussy, they're chasing drinks, they're chasing weed, they're chasing video games, they're chasing feels. Every single guy that's chasing pussy is chasing feels. It's just like a fat kid trying to get candy, right? How, if you see a bunch of fat kids standing in a circle and this one's like, I got this lollipop. How many lollipops did you get? Did you get that candy cane? Did you get that chocolate stick, right? They're all bragging about one another, all bragging about the candy that they're eating. And then one of the fat kid, kids goes, uh, you know what, guys? I'm, I'm just not going to eat that candy anymore. You know what all the other fat kids are going to say? What's wrong with you? This candy's good. Mm, 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 mm. And they're sucking up on their candy looking like big babies. That's what, what a lot of these guys, that's what they are. They're like fat kids sucking on candy. They're just getting their good feels. It's entertainment. 
right? It's entertainment, and you're just not involved in entertainment. Like when I go to the when I go to the gym, sometimes these guys they talk up. They like they're into college football. They're talking it all up. They're chatting it all up about fo college football. They don't even. They used to be back in the day. Like people would be like, Elliot. So what do you think about the big game? Nobody asked me that shit anymore. You know why? Because Elliot will have a good answer why he didn't watch his game. Y'all watch games. You know what kind of people watch games? People that don't live the game of their life. My life is my big game. I'm living the Super Bowl every day. No time for that Mickey Mouse baby boy bullshit that you're doing. And that's what these guys who are going around chasing pussy and being degenerate. And they're, they're slut makers. You know, so many guys complain about the fact that women are sluts. And it's like, but you guys are slut makers. There's no slut makers. There's no sluts. Right? So they're out there screwing it up for everybody else. But that's a different story. I can give you all my opinions on that. But what I want to offer you is this. Be convicted. Have conviction. Speak with authority, when, especially when you're going against the grain. Speak with authority about why you're doing what you're doing or not doing what you're doing. Not in a way that you're trying to convince. Not in a way that you're trying to judge or, or put down. But just say, hey, that's just not for me. Right? Just like watching Super Bowls or whatever. Getting involved with pop culture shit. It just ain't for me. That's all. It's just not for me, fellas. And it's okay that it's for you. That's fine. That's one way. And that, you know, depending on the person, maybe that's the right approach for you. Is just speak with conviction. Tell them why you're not getting involved with pop culture bullshit. I'm not doing that because it's degenerate. And it's a part of the reason why we're suffering as men and we're suffering as a culture is because of all the quote unquote free sex. People like to say, oh, but you're just humans or, or men are, are poly polygamous or whatever. And we're supposed to be out there boning. That's not actually true because if we were really doing that pre-abortion and pre-birth control days, pre-insta-thought days, it would be a totally different game, right? You, you, you would be a lot more conservative about it. So, you know, men and women are to blame. Men and women are to blame, right? Contraception. This is why contraception and abortion is, a, a, the Catholic Church has traditionally been against it. And, and believe it, however you want to, Take it however you want it, but the history of the West was built on Catholic ethos, right? They called it Christendom, Christendom, before the quote-unquote enlightenment, which I've discovered is actually a lie. The enlightenment is not, it didn't brighten us up to any great degree, and it wasn't dark beforehand. It's just a matter of, of, of uh, rebranding something so that we can believe that morals and values are uh are, are darkening or superstition or bad for you. They're not. There was a way things that were done. There were the way things that were done before modernity. That's my rant on that. Now, the other way, right? Like I said, there's two ways. There's two ways. There's two ways, which is enlighten, con be convincing, be convicted, educate, right? And if you're like me, preach. I just, I can't help it. That's why a lot of people don't ask me anything anymore. Y'all ask me stuff because I don't talk to you face to face. I'm talking to you in the cameras, right? Um, but people in my life don't ask Elliot nothing. <laughs> they don't want to know what Elliot thinks. Elliot's going to have preaching. I got preaching for you, right? So they don't even ask. They don't come to me with that bullshit. Because I'll be, I will just throw it down and I'll explain it to them. And they just get tired of me. That's one. The next thing you can do, and this, this is, this requires a little bit of, cleverness you got to be a little clever which is come back with a joke come back with a joke this is one of the ways see men shit test each other too you know you always talk about like men, like women shit test men you know you got to pass the shit test men shit test each other too and just like with a woman the best way to pass a shit test is with lightness humor light-hearted right hey rob how many chicks you lay down this weekend a hundred, right? <laughs> that's a, like that's a joke. A hundred? What do you mean a hundred? Yeah, and I got two two waiting for me in my car right now, right? I just hopped off your mama, <laughs> right? How many chicks you bone this weekend? Your mama. Make a joke out of it, right? You can make you can totally make a joke out of it, especially after you've 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 explained yourself once. After you explain yourself once, you're like, no, I'm not participating in the degenerate culture. The breakdown of our society, right? Because all you guys are addicted to vagina, and that's why women rule this world now. 
It's a matriarchy we live in. The reason why we live in a matriarchy is because men simp for pussy, right? Do everything that they do. All they can think about is pussy. So no, I'm not participating in that, right? But I just got off your mama. So that's it, dude. I hope that helps. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from the coaching sessions that I have every week with my King Transformation students, where among other things, we get together for about four or five hours a week. We talk all things related to becoming kings in our lives, in fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you, and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram, and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G, me and my team will get back to the details and see if you qualify to join us. Hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.